Good morning, PHS. It is October 26, 2017. Welcome to another edition of PTV. I'm Megan Scott. And I'm Kiara Clements. Thank you for joining us. Let's hurry up and get you out the door and on your way if you have an SRT meeting to get to. At Fold Out the Row, you're meeting in room 120. Bridge Bus is meeting, meeting in room 218. FTA is meeting in room 216. Prayer Room, you guys are meeting in room 207. Spanish Club is rounding up in the cafeteria. And finally, Sunshine Club should be meeting in room 211. Then after school, we have robotics in room 141 from 3.30 to 5.30. Marching band is, in, is meeting from 5 to 8. From 4 to 10, the orchestra will be at their vi Black Violin Concert field trip in Fort Wayne. And just a reminder, students in theater play rehearsal will be in the, held in the auditorium from 5.30 to 9 tonight. All right, moving on to our trivia winner from before fall break. It's Natalie and Elizabeth, and we're about to crash another room. Our PTV crew stopped by Mr. McKenzie's SRT classroom to drop off a Halloween basket of yummy candy. Special thanks to our very own Alexander Kurtz for capturing this video of the, our winning class. And moving on to our trivia question from before fall break. The question was, who is the richest person in the world in 2017? The answer is Jeff Bezos. He is an American technology and retail entrepreneur, investor, computer scientist, and philanthropist, best known as the founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Amazon.com. Thank you to the dozens of rooms that sent in your answers via email. But our random selector chose Mrs. Smeltz's SRT classroom. Congratulations, guys. Be expecting your surprise treat to be delivered here in a few minutes. Seniors. PHS administrators encourage you to create your resume if you haven't by now. You can get help from Mrs. Flynn, who works in the Widener School of Inquiry. She mans the Go Center during most SRT periods, or you can always ask your English teacher for help as well. But equally important, PHS administrators encourage seniors to prepare and practice your interview skills. You can also get help from Mrs. Flynn in the Go Center or ask your English teacher on how interviewing works as well. On the lunch menu today, we will be having Bosco sticks with marinara sauce and anything of your choice from the fruit and veggie bar. Congratulations to our Spell Bowl team who took second place to the host, Northward, at the NLC competition. Shout out to senior Sydney Morris on her perfect score correctly, spelling a whole bunch of tough words. And also, shout out to our senior Samuel Carroll and Junior Edgar Garcia on their near-perfect scores. You can support the team right here at PHS on Monday at 6 in the Varsity Gym for their next competition. Sweetheart is right around the corner on Saturday, November 11th from 8 to 11 p.m. The theme this year is The Great Gatsby. Back by popular demand is the one and only DJ Sticky Boots. And of course, the photo booth will be returning this year as well. Tickets will go on sale starting next week during lunch. Buy your tickets the first week, October 30th through November 3rd, for only $20 per person. The second week, November 6th through November 10th, tickets will be $25 per person. Don't delay in buying your tickets. Remember, you must buy them in advance. Come join the fun and enjoy music by DJ Sticky Boots, refreshments in the free photo booth in the multi-purpose gym. This will be... an the event you do not want to miss. If you are in need of volunteering hours, there are some great opportunities listed on our PTV website if you are. The Marshall County Purdue Extension Board is in the process of filling a youth position vacancy. Also, Parrot Veterinary Clinic is looking for volunteers for their upcoming fundraiser for the Marshall County Humane Society. And the Pub Plymouth Public Library is looking for volunteers to help them with an upcoming book sale next month. If any of those opportunities sound interesting to you, just visit our website at ptv.phs.weebly.com where we have all the details for you. Starting off PTV Sports today, we are premiering a new sports segment called PTV One Minute One-on-One. -on -one. 
PTV's Courtney Cook caught up with our first PHS athlete in the PTV One Minute One by One seat, senior volleyball player Bailey. What sports do you play? I play volleyball and cheerleading. What's your favorite sport? Volleyball. What's your position in volleyball? Setter. Who's the funniest teammate on your volleyball team? Miranda Garman. Who's the best dresser on the team? Kelsey Owen. What's your favorite food? Chinese. What's your favorite color? Orange. Do you have any pets? What's their name? One dog and his name is Biscuit. Are you an early riser or a sleeper in it? I sleep in. Who's your two best friends? Courtney Cook and Emily Hoffer. How many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. What college do you want to go to? Undecided. Are you going to play volleyball in college? Yes. Have you ever been arrested? No. <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream? Vanilla. What do you want to go to school for? Physical therapy or dentistry. Congratulations, Bailey Evelyn. You just completed the one minute one on one. Moving on to our PTV Sports Rundown for this weekend. Our Pride of Plymouth Marching Band will be competing in the ISSMA Semi-State at Pike. We'd like to congratulate Band for making it this far. Mr. Condon will be there in the stands cheering you on. Over for a break, the Plymouth Rockies face East Noble Knights here at the Rock Pile. It was the Rockies' first sexual game of the season and unfortunately their last this year. It was a hard fought battle for both teams doing their best. The final score was Rockies 13, East Noble 14. It was a great season and we will miss our seniors. PTV wishes the best to all of you. Halloween is right around the corner. Who's excited? We here at PTV sure are. But if Halloween spooks you out and gives you the chills, you should be able to answer this week's trivia question in a snap. This week's trivia question is, what is the fear of Halloween known as? If you know the answer, tell your SRT teacher to hurry up and submit your class's answer via email to phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, this week's PTV trivia question is, what is the fear of Halloween known as? Good luck to everyone to, who participates and have a happy Halloween. Well, that's a wrap of our show this week. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of PTV. If you will be watching the number nine Notre Dame Fighting Irish take on number 14 North Carolina State on NBC this Saturday, look for T PTV's Josie Coons and Natalie Loftus on the sidelines covering all the action. Have a fantastic Thursday, PHS. See you next week.